Tchaikovsky, Russia's most famous composer, once called Trostyanets home. Now the town in northeast Ukraine, like his old house, lies in ruins as residents count the cost of a month of Russian occupation. Dazed residents emerge from their homes to search for food while Ukrainian soldiers salvage what they can from damaged Russian vehicles abandoned amid the ruins. A month under Russian occupation has left deep scars in the northeastern town of Trostyanets. Russia's 4th Guards Tank Division, considered an elite armored unit, rolled into Trostyanets, which is just 20 miles from the border on the second day of the war. But it encountered fierce resistance from Ukrainian forces when elements tried to push further southwest, as the remains of burnt-out tanks scattered along a secondary road attest. The Russians set up headquarters in Trostyanets train station, and the surroundings are badly damaged after heavy bombardment. A dozen destroyed or damaged tanks and other armored vehicles, plus a massive self-propelled howitzer litter the area. Shells were coming in from all sides. In the night of the 25th to 26th, they just up and left, said Pavlo, who spent the past month hunkered down in the basement of his home located just nearby. The Russians quit the city in the end, putting up little to no resistance. It was dangerous to walk by here, said Pavlo, in the area around the rail station where the Russians had set up. They arrested people and stole their phones so they couldn't call home, he said. There were Russians, Chechens, and even pro-Russian Ukrainian separatists from the Donbass region who were the most cruel forcing out people and taking their homes, said Pavlo. Eventually, there was nothing left to eat in the town, no water and no electricity, he added. With a well in his yard and ample provisions in his basement, Pavlo didn't suffer terribly. The shops were still closed, but getting supplies was a top priority for many people, with long lines snaking outside food banks. People are hungry, said Katerina, 18, who was standing in line with her mother at a local church handing out food. She spent the month shuttling between her apartment and the building's basement, as well as searching for food. I had to go out every day and help my mother find something to eat. Can you imagine no bread for a month? said Katerina. For Ukrainian soldiers, the wreckage is a gold mine for spare parts. One of the deminers took a headlight out of a truck. With two wrecked trucks, we can jury-rig one that works, said the head of the local police, who also came hunting for parts. It's beautiful, all this scrap metal, said Pavlo, who had come to take a look at the damage. We'll be able to make a lot of ammunition for our army, 